Okay, Jimmy. Hey, this is Wes. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you real quickly how to get these images into the WordPress uh, system here. Um, okay, so I've got one of your images. I'm going to do uh, fit to screen. Uh, first, okay, sorry. So uh, one of the things that you should do is go get a program called GIMP. G-I-M-P. It's free. It's just like Photoshop. So you can do all these things that I'm doing in Photoshop and GIMP for free. So uh, the first thing that you want to do is to uh, make some adjustments to brightness and contrast. I just like to put your best foot forward as far as images go on the web. So on brightness, I usually do about 10% brightness change and then about a 35% contrast. And um, you can kind of see the difference there. Then the the major thing, you don't have to do all that brightness contrast stuff, but the major thing is is the width of the image. Um, you want to change the width, make sure that you constrain proportions, but you want to change the width to 900. I don't care about the height um, as long as the width's fine. It looks small, but here's the actual size. So um, once we have that changed, you want to do uh, save it for the web, and I do a JPEG. Uh, version of this and I'll compress they've got uh, Photoshop has these settings here that you can adjust I'm not sure what GIMP has but I'm sure it's something similar I do high quality and then I set my quality compression for 60 and then save it I've already saved this file so I'm just going to close it out close Photoshop and then I have got give me one second here I've already got the website open here. Okay, so the best thing to do is to go to your Bobcat Custom Outdoors website like this the best way to find this page uh, without having to go through the back end is go to your gallery section scroll down to fences and you can see the the gallery section here uh... I'm sorry that's fence staining I, went to the, I was like wait I've already done this um, <clears throat> so here's the fences here So go to the right gallery, first of all. And you can see I've already added these. But when you get here, if you're logged into WordPress, it'll give you an edit page up here. So you hit edit, and it'll take you right to that page uh, editing section. That's how you bypass all this other junk in WordPress. So here's your gallery. You click on that one time, and then it takes you over here to these two buttons. Uh, one is edit gallery. That's where you want to go on the far left. It's going to open up a new window here. Let me make sure I did click on it. There we go. Okay, so we've got your gallery open. Now, I've already added these images to the gallery, but what you would do is, to add more, you would go to From Computer, and then you would uh, click on Select Files. Pick your new images uh, from the ones that you saved and resized and hit open. It's going to upload that file and then you want to go, you don't want to do anything here, you want to go into your gallery and you're going to see this image is there now. See it's there twice, I've already done this once already. But if this is a new image and you want to just update the gallery, just hit update gallery settings and you're done. So I'm going to show this image here and delete it since I've already added it once continue to delete the image it's going to refresh my gallery I'm going to update gallery settings takes me back to this page the gallery is now updated and then I'm going to update the page to save the page now because you still have to save the page after the gallery and we are good to go and that is how you and then we're going to view the page And that is how you add an image to the gallery. 
The reason for the 900 wide image is so that we keep a constant, uh, like these images are 900 wide right here. If we had uploaded that 4,700 width image, it'd be four times this width. It would go off the page and it would kill your navigation on the site because people would have to, um, well, one, they couldn't see the whole thing. They'd be scrolling back and forth. It's just, you know, unprofessional to look like that. So anyway, uh, we're going to close this out and that is how you uh, update images for your website.